Good afternoon, this is the Hadley Report, an occasional program produced by Hadley Media, your public access television station. Today is October 25th, 2018, and I am your town administrator, David Nixon, and I'm accompanied by your town clerk, Jessica spank Nabel. Today's topic are the state elections coming up on November 6, 2018. And I have to do a disclaimer here by Massachusetts state law and the ethics of our profession. Neither Jessica nor I can endorse or approve any uh, candidate, issue, party, ballot question, or any other matter that may appear on the warrant. We are neutral in matters of elections. Ballot questions, the issues, the parties, and the candidates. We can and are doing right now um, encourage all voters to exercise their right to vote and to, our show today covers important information about your voting options for the town of Hadley. November 6 is the state elections. On November 6th, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. at Hopkins Academy, polls will be open for the state elections. And here to talk a little bit about some of your options is Jessica Spanknable, town clerk. Hi, I just wanted to take a few moments to discuss early voting uh, and educate you folks on how the whole thing works. Uh, this is the second time Massachusetts has done early voting. The first time was for the presidential election back in 2016. Early voting is slightly different from absentee voting. Absentee voting happens in every election, local, state, and federal. The early voting only happens for state and federal elections. Our early voting location is my office at Town Hall during regular business hours, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. from October 22nd to November 2nd. I'm also offering a special session on Saturday, October 27th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So if you're unable to get to my office during the week, that will be an option for you to come and um, vote. Absentee votes is going on at the same time. Those can be done by mail, in person. Uh, you can apply for a family member to vote. If your family member can't get out, you can apply for a ballot for them. They can be mailed back or again, voted in office. Thank you, Jessica. The ballot uh, contains all Massachusetts federal and state positions that are up for re-election or election. Uh, Senator in Congress, representative in Congress, governor and lieutenant governor, state senator and state representative, just to name a few. In addition to the candidates on the ballot, there are four ballot questions, three of which you will find in the Secretary of the Commonwealth Guide to Voter Information, which is available at Town Hall and the Library and online at the uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts website at mass.gov. There are four questions, three of which are in here. The first one is to establish limits on the patient to nurse ratios in public hospitals. Question one, patient to nurse limits. A yes vote would limit the number of patients that could be assigned to one registered nurse in hospitals and certain other healthcare facilities. A no vote would make no change in the current laws relative to the patient nurse limits. Two, to establish a commission on limiting spending and corporate rights. Question two, commission on limiting election spending and corporation rights. A yes vote would create a citizens commission to advance an amendment to the U.S. Constitution to limit the influence of money in elections and establish that corporations do not have the same rights as human beings. A no vote would simply not create this commission. Three is transgender anti-discrimination. Question three, transgender anti-discrimination. A yes vote would keep in place the current law which prohibits discrimination on the basic of gender identity in places of public accommodation. And a no vote would repeal this provision of the public accommodation law. And then the fourth one, which is a non-binding resolution, which is not in this package here, is to establish a commission to look into single-payer health care 
for a copy of the ballot with complete text on the names of candidates and the four questions, you can go to the town website at hadleyma.org. Thank you. And question number four is a non-binding question. It is advisory in nature only. Back to David. Thank you, Jessica, for that summary. And uh, I encourage everybody who is a registered voter in the town of Hadley to please exercise your right to vote. It is your constitutional right, and our democracy depends upon people exercising their right to choose their leaders and to frame the issues of the day. Thank you.